Hello and welcome to Beard Power. Today we're going to be talking about a couple options on how to watermark your Excel spreadsheet. Let's get right to it. So the first option, you can go to the insert tab, go to pictures, click that, this device, find the image within your computer, click insert, drag the image to the center of your screen. Next, adjust the image to the size of watermark that you desire. And try to center it. Okay, after that we're going to go to picture format, transparency. I'm going to go to 65%. That looks pretty good. Go to the print preview page. That looks good. Again, if you want to center this a little bit more, you can go back. Click on the image, bring it down a bit, and then go back to the print preview page, and that looks perfect. All right, so the issue with this one is that if you go to the next page, you won't have your watermark, but we do have a different option that I'm going to show you now. So we'll go back to our spreadsheet, delete this image. For the next option, we need to go to the print layout view. So I'm gonna click that the bottom right corner, go to the top, you can see add header, go to the middle one, go to your tabs on the far right, you should have something called header and footers, go to pictures, insert a picture from file, I'm going to use the same picture, insert. Now that we have our image in place, you can see that we need to do some adjustments, so we go back to that header and footers, go to Format picture. So we obviously need this to be a quite a bit bigger. So we're going to start with 25. Press OK. I like that size. So I'm good with that. So now I want to change the transparency of this picture. I'm going to go back to Format picture. This little tab here called Picture. In Image Control, the color, we want it to be Wash Out. Press OK. And there you go. Looks like a nice watermark. Obviously, we want a little bit more in the middle. Click within your header. Press Enter a few times. And that will bring it down. It looks like I need to go a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. Perfect. Let's go back to our print preview page. And you can see that we have a nice watermark in the background. And if we go to the second page, continues. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this helpful. I do have some other tutorials on print options. The links will be located on the top right corner. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. And until next time, have an excellent day.